Showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. So, guys, I want to talk about a synchro coming out in Judgment of the Light, and I really think that it's one of the best cards in the entire set. Unfortunately, it's a secret rare, so it might, you know, run like $25 or whatever. The card is called Armada's Keeper of Boundaries. As soon as I read that name, I was like, huh. This card instantly reminds me of Tyrus and Adrius. It's, uh, I guess, in the Keeper family. It's a Light Fiend Synchro Monster, 2300 attack, 1500 defense, pretty decent stats there. It requires one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters to summon. And the effect says, if this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Alright, so... This is one of the best synchros to come along in a very long time, and I think it's going to make an impact in the competitive meta because it's just so damn easy to drop. Like, the effect is only one sentence, yet it does so much. And you have to also remember, there are still so many ways to easily drop level 5 synchros. I mean, Blackwing Blizzard, anyone? So, let's see. Your opponent can't use cards that respond directly to attacks against it a la Mirror Forest Dimensional Prison. Uh, they can't use Damage Step tricks against this card either. They can't use Collude, Honest, Forbidden Dress, Forbidden Lance, you know the deal. There's also a lot of good hand traps that Armada has locks out too. Things like Gores, Swift Scarecrow, uh, Trigonia. You know, your opponent can't drop those cards because you know, they try and activate the damage step, and Armadas just says no. Now, Armadas doesn't just uh, work in that level. It's an absolute beast as far as dealing with trouble monsters. Since monsters can't activate their effects either when Armadas declares an attack, that means you can run over stuff like Cataster, uh, even Neospace and Grandma. And, I mean, personally, those cards are just a pain in the ass to deal with. Like, they're cards that make you do odd plays that aren't optimal so just having an easy level 5 single that can just run over and deal with cards like that is definitely something that I like. Armada is also negates any flip effects that it happens to run over. Uh, I've said it once and I'll say it again the flip effect might be a slowly dying mechanic but I mean when you run over that Raikou or that Gravekeeper Spy like you're gonna be damn happy that you had this card because that's a very hard thing to find and an extra deck card. Not to mention it wrecks recruiters. Things like Mystic Tomato, Abyss Lende, Reborn Tengu. I mean Reborn Tengu and Abyss Lende in particular like those cards are a bitch to deal with. It's very hard to get Tengu off the field without triggering it. The same thing goes for Abyss Linda, especially when you play Mermail and they set a card and you pretty much know that it's Mermaid Bitch and they're just like, oh man, I gotta get this off the field without triggering this damn thing. Now, lastly, the most overlooked aspect about this card is that it also works when your opponent attacks it, which means that it's super safe. You know, as far as battle phase protection. Like, let's say your opponent attacks Armadez and you happen to mirror force them. Like, they can't do shit. They can't Solemn. They can't use Stardust Dragon. They can't use Starlight Road. They can't do anything. This is just an added level of protection that you rarely see in the game of Yu Gi Oh! And I guarantee you, people will win games because of this. Because when you happen to drop your Honest, your opponent can't go, you know, Infernity Barrier, you know, Glad Beast War Chariot. They can't do anything. They can't chain a Lance. They can't. There's nothing that they can do. Like, this is one of those cards that has. Blanket protection on a level that we don't really see that often. And because it's just a generic level 5 synchro and so easy to make, I mean, Black Wings, TG Stun, like, I know that Konami is trying to bring back the synchro mechanic. And, you know, to a lesser extent, you know, that might be possible with some of these big level 8 dragons. But when you give the players just really solid cards like this that are lower level synchros and generic, like, this is the way you bring back synchros. Like, Armadas, I mean, I think that this is probably the most practical competitive uh, synchro monster that I've seen probably in like the last year because it's so fucking easy to drop. So let me know what you guys think. This is probably my favorite card in the entire set. Thank you for watching as always and take care.